Hi there, welcome. Uh, we are in Psalm 32. Today we're going to look at verses 8 and 9 in our brief time together. And as we get into uh, God's Word, please join me as we also open with a word of prayer. God, how good and great you are. We thank you for your grace that forgives our sin through the work of your Son, Jesus Christ, that we receive and trust and believe by faith. I pray, God, that we would not be those who just casually come to you. I pray, God, that we would truly come to you and surrender our lives to give up the right to ourselves and to honestly and in a great way, Lord, live for your glory. So make us teachable, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So Psalm 32 is a psalm uh, about forgiveness. David explores um, why we need forgiveness, how we go through the process of receiving and, and experiencing forgiveness, the impact and effect that forgiveness should have in our lives. And, and that's partly what's being described here in verse 8 and 9. Psalm 32, David writes this, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Be not like a horse or a mule without understanding, which must be curbed with bit and bridle, or it will not stay near you. David here is, is describing how important it is that we grow in grace, that we be teachable, that we have a heart that is tender to God's leading and prompting and guiding and directing. He, he says in verse 8, I will instruct you and teach you. Now, David is, is saying that he himself, this isn't God speaking, I will teach and instruct you. David is saying that we have this responsibility as one believer to another to teach, to guide, to hold accountable, to instruct. And so as David is instructed by God, as, as you and I are instructed by God, so we are to instruct, encourage, and guide one another. And, and David is describing here how we are to be attentive to God's word, to God's instruction, to God's guidance. And and I think if we're honest with, our, honest with ourselves, and I know me too, there's some days I wake up and I'm kind of like, you know, God, I'm just not having it. I'm in no mood to be talked to or told or directed, you know, and I kind of get a little bit of stubborn defiance. It, it doesn't mean that I have lost my salvation. It doesn't mean that I'm kicked out of God's family, but it does mean that, that I have a relatively hardened heart that day. I am not teachable and and tender to the leading and guiding of God. And and so what happens when we are not tender to the leading and guiding of God? Well, David describes that in verse 9. Be not like a horse or a mule, one who is without understanding, that needs to be curbed by bit and bridle, or it won't stay near you. There, there are days when we are stubborn. There are days when we are resistant. And God is faithful. God is faithful not only to forgive our sins and, and to teach us and guide us when we are tender-hearted, but as sons and daughters who have trusted Jesus Christ, God will be relentless in our lives when we are defiant as sons and daughters, when we are resistant as sons and daughters, when we are hard-hearted and, and uh, stubborn God will have his way in our lives because when we are a member of his family through Jesus Christ, God does not quit on growing the members of his family. So he said, don't be like a horse or mule. Don't be like those that are without understanding, that, that are uh, hard-hearted to God. And so here David in verses 8 and 9 is describing how we can grow in godliness, in God-likeness, and in the enjoyment, the experience and the, uh, the praising of God because of the work of his forgiving grace. So let us be tenderhearted to God, teachable and guidable, and know when you have one of those days like I do at times, that God won't quit on you, that God is good, that God will sometimes put a bridle and bid on us, that will corral us, will guide and direct us, for God will finish what he begins. As David, or as uh, Paul wrote, uh, he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion at the day of Christ Jesus.
May the Lord be with you. I'll see you again tomorrow.